Hi, this is Daniel Shanahan from New Leaf Data. This is another video on Script File Maker with me. And in this video, I want to talk about this product that I have coming out pretty soon on task management. And I need to I need to rearrange how uh, um, comments and activities are are displayed. So there'll be a little bit of scripting, but there's also some design. And this first part will be on um, on the design. Actually, this first part will be identifying the problem, and then we'll look at at uh, how I do design. Again, these videos are just one example of how one developer approaches a, a data-driven problem and solves it with the FileMaker platform. And I hope that's helpful. Let's take a look at at the file. This is a product that I have I have coming out. It's not available yet and so I'm doing some final work on it. I, I created the thing about a year and a half ago and I'm just now coming back to it. So some of this stuff is refreshing my memory on how I did things. One of the pieces I put in here, this is a task management tool that you could use for for teams and for projects. And one of the pieces that I put in here was the ability to, to leave messages for other people. So you can have this asynchronous message um, component here. Let me, let's take a look at this. So I have these, these are my tasks. Here's one that's overdue um, and two different projects. I'm gonna go into this updating manufacturing project and you can see there's three people on this team. There's myself, there's Hakeem, and there's Patsy. And and I want to leave a note. So this is all this is all fake data, and and um, this is more this is lore Ipsum text. But let's say I I have I have this um, uh, this description, and it's my task, and I need some expertise from my team members. So I'm going to do an at mention. At mentions are very common. In, in lots of web platforms. So I'm going to do an app mention to Patsy. And I created something with Patsy. I have something in here that's going to email Patsy. And, and uh, you may know that it's pretty easy to send an email through FileMaker. Uh, I think that's not fully connected. So I'm just going to get rid of that for the moment. And um, and nothing was entered in the account. I think I hit that. Um, I think I hit this post twice too many times. In any case, it works for us. Uh, Patsy, can you clarify this? So I'm working on this task. I have a question for somebody else who's on the team for that project. And this is how I can use that app mention. What I want to do is take a look at what Patsy sees when she logs into the system. I don't like it. I built it, I designed it, and I'm, I'm looking at it now a year and a half later and I, I'm looking at it and saying, well, I, I don't get it, why did I do it this way? Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's see now what Patsy sees when she logs in. I'm logged in now as Patsy and you can see on my on my top nav bar, it's not a nav bar, sorry. It, this is really a dashboard. It's a top dash, it's a mini dashboard. These numbers changed because they are reflective of, of tasks that belong to me. But the thing I want to point out is that this changed. When I was logged in as myself, I didn't have any messages, but Patsy has five. And when I click on those, I can see what those messages are. This is the design that I don't like, um, and the design that I created. But I don't like the design. So, uh, so there's, there are these messages. Here's, here's I think the one. Uh, can you clarify this? First of all, when I can, I don't know what the message is. I just know that there's one message. So, it would be nice. It would be nice if um, that task is fine here. But, it, but it'd be nice if I'd said, can you clarify this? So at a glance, if I was Patsy, I could see what the message is. So that's one thing. Then another thing is I see that I have three messages here 
and well, let me just go here. So this one is an is an uh, an ant mention, uh, and then this is an ant mention. Does look look correct to you? Uh, by the way, I'm going to hit Escape. I don't have to hit this X. I can hit Escape to close that card window. Now I have this task, and this has three three um, messages, but there's really th three complete messages, and um, there's only one app mention. So uh, I don't really like that design model, that paradigm. So I'm going to change that. Here's another thing too: is is I wanted to have a way that when Patsy read this, she didn't. I wanted to have let Patsy have a way of clearing this out so that she doesn't always have these messages. It's just going to accumulate with more and more messages. And so the way I did that is I have this icon here. This is not intuitive at all. So I would click that icon. And, and it's gone. I can close that. And uh, then this tells me, you could see now that Patsy has three more messages. If I, if I click on this middle one, updates to two, she has two messages. And um, I can close that. And if I, if I go somewhere else and come back to it, I just see those two messages. Here they are. Not intuitive at all. So I want to change that design. And this is the first part. I know this is file script FileMaker with me. A lot of this is FileMaker is, is knowing how to design the data tables and design the UI. Here's what I've done. Almost every time that I design something in FileMaker, I use a pen and paper first. It's fast. I have I have a drawing, I have several drawing notebooks here at my at my workspace and it's it's just a real fast easy way for me to get my ideas out of my head and onto paper so the first step I did was I, I created a pen and paper and then I took a picture of it so that's this the next thing I did was I created a, a low fidelity mock-up I call these low fidelity because it's it's almost always black and white. I have a little bit of color here. Almost always black and white. Almost, almost never has any working buttons in it. And uh, it's just a, an e a fast and easy way for me to, to get a clearer idea of what this would look like in FileMaker. You can have high fidelity mockups. I, I don't do those, but there are some applications you can use to create very, very nice high fidelity mockups in FileMaker. I know some developers do use those. This is what I, I want. This is the, up here would be the numbers. I didn't want to, I didn't put them in, but these would be the my task, the unassigned task, the messages, the username, all that would go here. I didn't need to put that in here for the mockup. And I wanted to have, uh, it, I thought it'd be good to have the task, that the name of the task, which we had already, and then the message, so I know what it is that I'm reading without clicking into it. And then after that, I thought having a view, I don't want to have this, this talk icon, which doesn't make any sense. But here I could click this and it would, it would put a check in there and remove it from my list. Now, I want to be able to, to filter out the list that I'm looking at. And so up here... I thought I could have a couple of filters. I could have the, what I'm calling right now, at me. Again, that might change. It's, it's what I came up with for right now. And I, I think I'm, I don't know if I'll go with it, but I'm, but at me. And the idea is that these are all the at mentions for me. And so now I can separate those, the at mentions for me. Then the new messages, which presumably we're looking at here, the new messages would be all the new messages that were made for a task on which I am a member of the project, a member of the the um, the team, so I want to keep tabs on the conversation for all the tasks happening on projects where I'm a member. That's where this would show. Again, for both of those at me and new me new messages, I could click on that and. 
Um, but then I want to be able to, re to retrieve those at some point if I s need to go back and view that. And so the viewed messages would do that, would show me all the messages that I have viewed. I thought about calling them archive messages, um, but, but archive is tricky because, because really all of this data could be archived if you, after three years or five years, you might take all of this data and make a new file and, and put that up on the server and call it archived and have access to it. So I, so I chose not to use archive, I used view. I want to make that change in FileMaker and I'm going to go through, through that process. Uh, my plan is to do it uh, through the video and probably break it up in a couple of video sessions.